Hi, I'm Greg Johnson with resourcesforlife.com and this is another training video in the series of videos about how to install Windows XP. This is uh, segment number 14, episode 14. And in this video we're going to be looking at how to identify what kind of wireless card you have in your Dell notebook. At least that's this example. And this may seem a little bit of a departure from just basically uh, an OS install, but the fact is this is the kind of stuff that you need to be able to figure out when you're setting up your operating system. So here under this panel marked C um, is the wireless card. And actually I'll just, since I'm here, give you a tour of a typical Dell notebook. This side, which is actually the front left, but it's turned over now so it's the front right, this um, screw here will allow you to slide this out and have access to the hard drive. That's handy if you have a hard drive crash or you want to upgrade. This of course is the battery with an indicator there. And here, marked with an M, is where the memory goes. Um, so anyway, that's just kind of a detour there. But um, this is the wireless card. These two wires connecting to the wireless card are the antennas for the wireless card. Well, what I can see so far here is that this is a Broadcom, and I'll try to focus in on this and adjust for the lighting um, and, and read this, but basically it's a Broadcom wireless card. So I'm going to need to go out to the internet and find out what kind of drivers are required for this card. It doesn't really tell me what model it is though. Um, I do have something here DW1450 revision A00, that might be the model number. I can do a Google search on that. This top number I'm guessing is either like maybe a serial number. That's most likely. Um, there are two MAC addresses, interestingly. Normally a, a network device only has one MAC address. So um, in this case, two addresses, maybe it's, uh, I really don't know, possibly different addresses depending on whether it's using A or B or something. So anyway, I'm off to search for drivers, and I'll come back when I find them. I went back to Dell's website just to confirm. I, I remembered seeing something about Broadcom network drivers, but these are nothing uh, to do with wireless. And so and I've you know already been through these, downloaded what was available, nothing was helping. So I just went out to Google and did a search on those numbers that you saw just a little while ago, DW1450. I was hoping that that might convey something about what model it was or what drivers would be needed. And sure enough, I did see um, some links out here on the web. I tend to avoid websites like um, laptops or laptop spare. I don't know who these websites are, techspot.com, Cedar PC. You never know if these are going to have malware or just advertising or if they're like you have to pay to get drivers or if the drivers will be infected with viruses. Here's an eBay, somebody's selling the DW1450. Here though is a link that looks promising. It's at CNET.com or a abbreviation would be download.com but it's download.cnet.com. That's a reputable website so I'm going to click on that. and that number DW1450 it turns out stands for um, Dell Wireless 1450 which you see here in this list um, and apparently there is what looks like a universal driver for this and other wireless cards from Dell so I'm gonna click on download now from CNET be careful on these pages like here's a download link you saw there briefly um, there will be other download links showing up like here, start download. For the beginning user, that's a little bit confusing because you might think, oh, is this where I'm supposed to click to start my download? Those are actually um, misleading and deceptive advertisements that are designed to look like the website's actual download button, and in fact they are not. They are advertisements. So anyway, just so you know that, you have to click on the proper download button on the page. Anyway, now that uh, it's in the process of doing this download, I'm going to click here. I'm going to say download the file. And I'll go ahead and put this on the computer. 
again, here are other buttons, you know, for like before you download, run a free scan. Lots of misinformation and deception. But eventually that file will get downloaded, the proper one. And I'm going to go back while that's downloading. I just want to show you because that is uh, important for beginning users to see that. When you're at download.com, um, oh, here we go. I'm just going to go ahead and save this while we're at it. And the last place that I downloaded was a folder called Adobe Flash in here. Just showing you this folder structure. My documents, computer support, software. Um, I'll create a folder. Actually, um, let me just delete that. Software is generally referring to programs from third parties. I like to keep a separate folder called Drivers. And uh, in there, keep... Um, the correct drivers for hardware. And in this case, I'm going to say DW1450, and that's the driver for that. And we'll go ahead and save it. And then once that's downloaded, it's really odd that this was not on Dell's website and that Dell didn't even come up as one of the options readily available for this. But anyway, that matter aside, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and close out of CNET's website. We've downloaded the file and uh, close all tabs at this point and get focused in on installing that driver. So um, here we are. And the name of the file from Dell, this is kind of typical, is just going to be R and then some numbers that don't make any sense. So just double click on that choose run, choose continue, and then as I mentioned earlier I like having um, named folders here so I'm going to put in Dell wireless before I expand those uh, files out there. Go ahead and click yes to create it. And I'm really hopeful that this is actually going to work. Um, you saw in my previous example how some wireless cards will have installation software. In this case, you know, there are no instructions. The beginning user is just really uh, going to be hard pressed to figure all this out. But basically, these are all just files that are used by that wireless network card to operate. And I'm going to have to tell it, tell, tell the computer that I need it to go here to find those files. So. Let's remember, C, Dell, Drivers, Dell Wireless, etc. Where do I do that? Well, I'm going to go to the My Computer icon. I'll right-click. Then I'll go to Properties. And from there, I'll choose Hardware. And then from there, I'll choose Device Manager. And at this point, I'll see that the network controller has an exclamation point next to it because it needs the proper driver.